Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, Clutter Guy from Wisconsin again, coming back with another short video. Anyways, um, this video is going to be talking about um, picking up free books from libraries. Uh, just a quick story if you're new here, um, I do have a clutter business too. Um, if you would have told me I was going to be in a book business two months ago, I would have never believed you. Um, two months ago, I planned on getting into book business. Um, I've seen a lot of guys doing really good online. And about a month ago, um, I came across a, a niche with libraries where, um, as of right now, as today, I have 20 libraries that call us up and we come get their books for free. A lot of the books we pick up, um, they're a mixture of books, nonfiction, fiction, uh, textbooks. What a lot of people don't know is that a lot of your local libraries is a place where the residents of the city or town bring books to get rid of. Even though the libraries are bulging at the seams, they still take the books with a big smile on their face, even though they really don't want them. But anyways, um, in one month, we've built up 20 libraries. Um, <clears throat> I think today, today's the 30th day. For the last 30 days, we've sent in 100 books a day to FBA. Um, as of yesterday, not counting today, because we actually gotta do our books today. You go and get it. We gotta do our books today but uh, as of yesterday, we have 3,500 books on FBA. Um, I figure right around August 3rd, August 4th, just a hair over one month, we'll have 4,000 books on FBA. Um, if I can do it, I'm going to do 100 books each day, every day, as long as I can, as long as I got inventory. Quick story, uh, the first library... That called us up. We went out there to pick up some books. We picked up um, 160 boxes of books from them. And uh, that's a lot of boxes of books for one year. And uh, basically, how it works is most libraries, um, they have different sales. Some have sales in the spring. Some have sales in the fall. And after, if a book doesn't sell maybe two, three times, they put that book in the area and they no longer want it, they're going to get rid of it. Okay, it's discarded. Most of your libraries, if they have books, um, they're overwhelmed. They really don't even want to bring books to Goodwill. They don't want to bring books to the thrift stores. And the reason is because they're all full. Everybody's full of books. So that's why there's plenty of books all around us. So um, as I just said, we have 20, 20 accounts. Today, I drove probably about 55, 60 miles away. Um, it was actually a resident that uh, was told from a, a, a library in that area that we picked up books for free. So we went up there and picked up maybe four or five boxes of nice books. Well, then I stopped at that library because I was already um, um, networking with her anyway. Um, she's the one that told this resident that we picked up books. So I stopped in there and uh, told her thanks for giving her our name out and um, just to meet her. And sure enough, well, look what happened when we left that library. We picked up a lot of books, all these books from that one library. See all these books? You know, I've been selling library books now for a month. Library books are good. You can only sell them as good, but most library books are really good. Look at the conditions of these books. And yes, fiction books also sell online. Don't let anybody tell you any different. It isn't all about nonfiction. It's not all about textbooks. You can still sell fiction online. They all sell. 
all of them, most of them. Anyways, um, if you really want to learn how to get free books, hey, if you want to go source and go ahead. I don't want to source. I, I don't even own a scanner for uh, a Bluetooth scanner for God's sakes. Um, I'm gonna. This business model is different. There's a lot of libraries out there. They're all bulging at the seam, and there's certain things you got to do if you want to start a free library book business. Build up your accounts now because if you don't, someone else will, and I guarantee it. I'm already hearing feedback from people out there that's doing this. Right now we have 20. My goal is to get up to 50 libraries. Why 50? In my mind, more is better. Uh, just to tell you a quick story. So we picked up all these books here. I just told you right here or showed you. There's, I mean, there's a lot of books in here. Man, a lot of books. A lot of nice books. Anyways, um, we picked these up. And on the way back from the road trip we took today, stopped at two more libraries. And I had a business card. Stopped in there and told them what we do. And I picked up two more accounts. Okay. Um, when I got back here at my shop, I actually had a message on there. There was another older lady, um, probably 60 miles out the other direction. Um, that same particular library that gave me all these books, contact her, because it's a different town, it's another library, and told them about us. And she asked me if I'd be willing to come up, pick up books from them. I said, you bet I will. Now that one just fell on my lap. Once you start building this thing, librarians talk to other libraries. They give your name out. It's free business. So there's a few things you really want to do. And if you're serious about building a, a stable uh, free book library business, you know, think of a business name for yourself. Get business cards. Um, what I like to do is I, I sit down, I write down a bunch of libraries kind of near me, cold call them up, and I'm going to talk to whoever the manager is, talk to the director. Don't waste time on anybody else because you won't waste your time. Talk to them, tell them who you are, tell them what you do, and if you do have like a small website that works really good, you guys can check out my website, freebookpickups.com. Because what I really like to do is refer people to my website and let the website do the selling for you. Every time, well, I can't say every time, 99% of the time I talk to these libraries, I get them all. Every single one. Why? Because of the need out there. You see, when they have discarded books after a sale, just because a book does not sell at a library, does that mean it's no good? No. It means the market wasn't there at that particular moment. But online, it's a different story. So anyways, what a great way to get free books. Um, okay, business card, call them up, tell them what you do, be excited about it. You know, you got to treat it like a business. Um, I've never had so much luck. I didn't know I was going to be in the book business one month. And we're looking at almost 4,000 books. But the only re reason why we had a big start like that is because that one library had 160 boxes of books no lie and um, I'm gonna keep adding to the mountain of books because I never want to run out if you do get a lot of libraries like I said you'll get libraries to call you in the spring your average library will call you two three times a year every single one will call you some will call you in the spring some will call you in the summer some will call you in the fall book sales before you know it you'll have books coming in all the time you don't have to worry about going source and looking for books who wants to look for books? You don't need to look for books. They're everywhere. And not only libraries, I'm going to tell you something else. Here's another easy tip. Keep your eyes open about these book sales, wherever they're at. And I've heard this before online. It could be a church organization. Go there before the, live, before the sale. Tell them that you're in the book business and you like to find good homes for all the books that you, that, that you pick up. Tell them that you come by and pick up all the books for free no money free and you know what if you don't pick them up someone else will because if you don't pick them up they got to take their books to goodwill their stores or whatever i talked to a lady today that um she was a librarian 
they used to bring books to Goodwill after a, a, a book sale. But she's seen Goodwill employees throwing um, books in a dumpster. Nope, thrift stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army, they don't really want any more books. If you want a good free book and a replenishable uh, inventory, go with libraries. I'm telling you, it's easy, it's quick. I picked up three today. 30 days, I have 20 accounts. Almost 4,000 bucks online. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can DM me. You can give me a call. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can find my number. I got it on my... Uh, it's on there somewhere. I tell you what, now's the time to start building because there's some pretty, bu pretty big book sales coming up this fall. And what's left can be all be yours. Anyways... Clutter guy signing out. I'm going to show you one more picture of these books because this is what we got to do now. We're going to start unloading this stuff here. I have no idea how many books are here. There's probably a thousand books in here, stuffed in here. Anyways, peace out. Have a great day and read a book.